Rashid Khan is uh, with me to chat a little bit about his career, a little bit about playing cricket in the United States of America. Dwayne Bravo, who is the leading wicket taker in T20s, but you're second on that list and you're approaching a significant landmark of 600 T20 wickets. Think about that, 600 T20 wickets. Well, uh, the other day I was just ch checking my stats and uh, I played 400 plus games, which is, I was just smiling a bit like, you know, how this all happened and getting nearly 600 wickets. Uh, I think it's totally out of my mind. You know, we have T20 is from the last, I think, 17, 18 years uh, and uh, we're coming in the last part of the last decade in 2015 and then uh, you, the second highest wicket taker. It's it's massive achievement for me, someone from Afghanistan, you know, uh, being that part. It's not just about I took those wickets in the SSUA team and things like that. It's more about how much I took in the IPL, in Big Bash, in SAE. Uh, CPL and all around PSL all around the world played and, and got those wickets. I think it's it's massive for me how the journey started and where it is now. Rashid Khan, he's done it. The magic of Rashid. And can win the battle. You're batting. I don't think anyone disputes the fact that you're a genuine all-rounder in the game and in this format more so. 31 from 15 balls in the last match that you played in this cognizant Major League Cricket competition. How difficult it is for you to balance your bowling with your batting and to make sure that you are a contributor at the lower end of the innings. You've won matches as, as well. What's, what's critical for you batting-wise and that type of success that you've enjoyed with the bat? Well, if I say with the batting, uh, I think in my early stage of career, I didn't get, give much time to my batting, to be honest. And I knew I have those skills in talent, but unfortunately, for some reasons, I haven't got that opportunity to bat in the nets, and I haven't got opportunity where I can improve my skills. In Gujarat, you know, Ashish told me, whatever the practice you need, it's always there for you. And then in those practice sessions, uh, Gary Kirsten and uh, Naeem, you know, I think those two guys, they, they helped me a lot and uh, they knew you have those skills in talent where you can improve. It's just about a few things you need to change and, and, and uh, I think you're going to smash it. And that was the first year IPL in Gujarat. I scored some runs, I finished few games and that the belief came and then I tried to bat more and more in the nets and, uh, and uh, even sometime in the game I play some shots. I don't know how I played it. You know, it just, <laughs> it's just like the reaction you have and um, the rest position and in, in, in also a strong rest, uh, it's a natural, so... Oh, that's clubbed. And that's gone for six, and that's a fine grab. And that's six more. Three and three.